Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 53rd episode of the multiplayer RPG tutorial series. In this one, we'll be looking into setting up, continuing with our AI behavior trees. In the last one, we set up our behavior tree with random movement, but you'll notice that our AI don't actually have any animations when they're moving. So we'll look into setting up their animation blueprint in this one. So after this, we'll have our AI actually able to walk around and every time they move, that perform the uh, proper animation. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't so you get notified when I upload new videos in the future. And so without further ado, we will get into setting up our animation blueprint for our AI. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our animations folder. And for now, we're just going to Duplicate this one for our master animation for our character, and this is going to be our master AI MVP. And the reason we did this was because there's some issues running through our other one because we're casting to our master character, so a lot of things are specific to our master character, for example. We can't get beyond anything. We can't update it in the air, our speed and our direction, which these would determine our uh, animations, which, but we can't get to these right now. So to fix that, we can search it in here for our master NPC. And that will get you this and it will find everything and replace them. And you'll notice if you compile, you'll have a lot of errors now. So now we're going to go through and replace those. So the character reference, we're actually going to replace with AI underscore reference. And we're slowly just going to go around, get the AI reference, delete the character. speed you can also hold alt if there's multiple and drag it down and just plug them in like that makes it a little easier there and that's all in our update graph that, that, that are visible at least we also want to go to our character variables and here, what to get do here? Okay, for the character variables, for now, I actually disabled this because we don't need the the uh, these variables specifically yet. We will be setting up our character components so it's it works with our AI as well. We're using interface to pass the character the master character in, which is preventing that from happening right now, which is pretty easy to do. For now, we'll just unplug that, put it up right there. I'll just name that like so, so that we know for later to fix that. And the animation variables, we'll get our AI reference. We'll get our combat component because we added the combat component to our AI. This will allow us to use the stance and different things for when we set up combat for our AI without having to duplicate all of these variables over again. So that's why the components are useful there. Saves us a lot of time. So now we already have all, all these variables created for our AI. Still going through. We have another one right here for a shield reference. Combat component. I'm just going to hold alt, drag these down, or hold control, sorry, and drag these down. Delete that, and delete that. And just looking through, no more errors in here. And I'm just going to click this one right here. And we're 
actually going to want to set our AI reference. So I'm just going to delete this. Get our master NPC or master AI. Third one, you name that. May rename it to AI later on because AI just sounds a lot better to me thinking about it now. I just use the term more, so it makes more sense to use that one. And I don't need to do that, so I'm going to delete that variable. I'm just going to set this one that I created earlier. And now I'm going to continue going through, get AI. Now we're in our character variables. Um, I'm going to actually just delete this for now. And now in our notify graph, just going down through the errors. Let me get the combat component. Delete that one. So now it's going to get from the AI. I'm going to control C to copy the combat component and the AI reference, because I'm going to need a few times here. Like right here. So we can set our stance and unequipped. These won't act these aren't actually doing anything yet because we haven't actually set up in our AI to unequip the weapon and to cast the spell, but we have the variables and everything set up in our animation already. So we don't need to redo this later on down the road. We're adjusting our stance and our unequipped. Um paste this here. Get rid of those. Paste this here. Hold Alt. Or Control, sorry. I keep saying Alt. Delete those. Control V. Hold Control. Delete those. There like that. And we're still going up through here. Um for now we're just going we're gonna want to use these trace functions, but I'm just going to delete all this around there for now. Delete character reference. I'm actually going to get the AI reference, the combat component, because eventually we'll be. I'm always thinking of moving my trace to the combat component itself, so that we can send that as well. Might change that up as we get that get closer when we actually get to setting up our trace for our, our AI attacks. But for now, we'll just leave that like that. Um, control V to paste in their combat component. Same thing here. And the same thing here. So now we can have our chain attacks set up for AI. Reset attacks, reset animation, everything like that for when we actually Set it up, and you'll notice that our AI is actually standing now. And we're able to actually run through functions because everything is notifying, setting our, to our character properly, or to our AI. So now it's able to pass through here because it's getting the AI reference. So now it's setting all these variables that we would need to move. We want to go into our animation graph and our default our idle and we're going to be using some of this stance stuff in here but for now we're just using the unequipped stance so you can just worry about this for now we're just going to delete this and plug this into here 
Um, I was debating on deleting this, but I might reuse some of this code for our animation blending or our AI in the future. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. Comment it is unused just so we know that it's never running into there at the moment. And as we set it up so it is used, then we'll be able to run in there. We actually, we, and the AI can't run yet or jump because we haven't said anything specific to tell the AI to jump or run. So but we'll be doing that later on down the road. And I'm just going to test this out now. And our AI should be walking. Nope. Our animations are still not set. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's because uh, you want to go to your blueprints, AI, and your master NPC. Go to your mesh and set in the animation class, animation anim class over here. Your master AI animation blueprint. And now your AI should move. We'll, we'll set up breathing as well because we disabled that. For now, this will do. I'll set up proper breathing for our character rather than having a blend. So we'll have, we'll have breathing through through everything, even during our motion, not just when we're idle. Because right now we're just using the uh, breathing animation as our idle animation. If I can find one, I can't really find one there. That's actually set up because we deleted it. But yeah, that was how that was set up. We'll be adjusting the breathing later on, like we did in our remnant tutorial. We followed that one. Um, now our AI should be walking, but their speed is still up. That's another easy fix. You can adjust this per child blueprint, but I'm just going to set a default value of 250. And then we're going to set the crouch walk slower, even though they can't crouch at the moment. And I'm going to set that to that. Now our AI are walking at a normal pace. And I'll randomly walk around. And then the next one we'll actually get look into getting our AI to look at and target the player. And we're we'll looking at things like they are attacking and move and the random movement around them around the player, strafing left and right, and things like that. Because we have strafing animations and they're set up to be used for with their AI. Our AI just isn't set up to walk left and right yet. So that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my community Discord server use using a link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.